Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, we will see how an application can access Singasugura using an app-to-app -app integration. After selecting HOA, click on Applications to get to this screen. Click on the button on the upper right corner to create a new application. In the pop-up window, choose a convenient name for the application, but remember, this name will be used to identify the application within Sansegura. In this case, I chose the name Sansegura app to app. Next, choose the authentication method for this application. You can choose between OAuth 1.0 or 2.0. I will choose OAuth 2.0. If you want, you can also add tags and a description. I decided to add the tag dev and I will leave test as the description. Click save. Having saved your new application, the next step is to create permissions for it. To do so, go to Action and then Authorizations. This screen shows a full report of all authorizations granted to this application. However, since our application has just been created, there are no authorizations listed yet. Again, we go to the upper right corner and add a new authorization. The two most important tabs for us here are Settings and Security. In Settings, you have the option to include an expiration date for your application. In my case, I will choose the 31st of the month and a random time. There are two other fields in this tab, Environment and Systems. They help segregate applications within Singasegura. Since we don't need that in our example, I'll leave them blank. Now, switch to the Security tab to choose which Singasegura resources this application will have access to. I will check all of them. And for the PAM module, you have additional settings with Read Only and Read and Write options. In my case, I will choose Read and Write. You can also choose to encrypt to sensitive information, such as passwords. I will choose to enable it in my case. And you can also list the IPs that will be authorized to make requests through this application. By default, I will say that any IP address using my application will be authorized. Finally, click Save. Now you are all set and your application can now be used. If you click the action icon again, you can choose to see the authorizations. You will find some relevant information on this screen. First, the authorization method, the name of our application, the client ID, as well as our client secret. This is all you need to start using your application. Thank you for watching.